Also happening tonight, the annual Christmasville celebration is kicking off in Rock Hill. The four-day festival begins tonight at 6 o'clock with an opening ceremony in Fountain Park. And Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joins us live from downtown Rock Hill. Taylor, I have to say I'm jealous. I really am because I know it is so festive and so much fun out there. But this weekend is so much more than just getting into the holiday spirit. Tell me about it. Yeah, absolutely, Alicia. I mean, over the next four days, there will be thousands of people filling the streets of Rock Hill. But the point of this festival is to show off what the city has. And a big chunk of that is their local businesses. In the hours of leading up to the kickoff of Christmasville 2022. But I have told everyone not to call, email, or text me this week because I am in full Christmasville mode. Sarah Vining is preparing for the busiest weekend of the year. Her shop on East Main Street witnessed it for the first time last year and underestimated its power. And it was absolute mayhem in a great way. We um, benefited so much from Christmasville. People from all over the state and southeast come into downtown Rock Hill and experience all the festivities that the, the festival puts on. With over 80 events spread across four days, festival organizers have been preparing since February. There's a lot of busy folks behind the scene trying to make sure that it comes off as though, you know, it's effortless. It is not. <laughs> Every street post, storefront, and inch of Rock Hills downtown is decorated to enhance the holiday spirit. The expectations are high, knowing what a successful weekend means for their local economy. It's not just the community's festival where you can make all those warm and fuzzy memories, um, but it does really help the businesses who are here, and that is one of the primary reasons the festival was created, to drive business to Old Town. Last year, J.P. McFadden opened his own men's store in downtown Rock Hill. As a retailer, he says this time of year is what he looks forward to the most. It allows us to really be on, like on our stage, you know, so kind of always like Trey, our barbers on his stage in that window allows us to really, you know, emphasize that. And while Christmasville officially ends on Sunday, there will be events going on throughout the entire month of December. But of course, the main event is happening tomorrow, and that's the parade at 630. Now reporting live in Rock Hill, Taylor Young, Queen City News. Taylor, thank you so much. Well, tis the season everywhere you go. 